Hello from the Land of TV. This is King Cool. Welcome to the Toast Reviews. For those of you who don't know how this works, I watch a movie, I put something in the toaster, and I have to talk about it before it's done. And today, I watched uh, Planet Hulk, because it was on a Netflix instant, and I was like, that sounds kind of interesting. Now, you know, if I was one of those cynical reviewers who tried to make things up at the time of other movies being really popular, it'd be like, oh, Hulk? Well, he was just in the Avengers. Well, based on, you know, what I do for a living, I can't really talk about the Avengers. Even if it, even if I was able to, I couldn't tell you that it was fucking awesome! But, you know, I'm not allowed to do that. So I have to talk about Planet Hulk instead. Which only has, uh, Hulk and a little bit of Iron Man in it. Um, so, but I'll get to that when I actually do it. But today, we're toasting up wheat bagels. I think maybe the whole wheat, maybe only part of a wheat, I don't know. Here we go. So, Planet Hulk is like an animated, when you how there was like this giant uh, dearth of um, animated uh, um, Marvel movies. Like they had the Invincible Iron Man, I think before the Iron Man movie came out. Um, in, I, I think it was 2007 actually, just one year before. Um, and then they have, like, uh, Superman and Doomsday or something. Just, there's a, there's a bunch of them. And they're animated probably about as well as the Justice League cartoon. Maybe even a little worse. They look fine, but there's a lot of these. And this was one of the ones that I think is partially sort of an Elseworld tale. Maybe it is part of the major, um, canon. But what happens is Hulk, uh, Hulk smashed too many things. So Hulk get put in a spaceship, and Hulk, um, uh, allegedly is supposed to be sent to this uh, other planet where, but it gets, it, you know, a planet without any life on it. But then something goes wrong, and then, uh, he goes to the planet with life on it, and he becomes a gladiator after he's uh, sold into slavery on this planet. Like, and this is the thing about these things. They, these guys have, like, laser rifles and rifles that shoot, like, napalm and other stuff, and, but they still have, like, villages... Uh, although, like, the, the villagers, like, windows have glass in them, so, like, that's kind of a surprise. I didn't know that we had glass at that point, because I thought that involved, like, smelting. I don't know how you make glass. Um, at least in Minecraft, you take sand, you melt it, and you turn it into glass. I'm like, well, that seems easy enough. But, um, so where am I going with this? Uh, um, so he goes there, and, and also all the gladiators are dressed like the old-time gladiators. They have the big coliseum and stuff. And it's like, man, they must have been, been watching us about 2,000 years ago. You know how t uh, signals take a while to get out there? Maybe that's what um, what happened. They're like, oh, check it out. This is a Charlton Heston movie. we got to do like this. See, they got their sandals and, you know, uh, armor and other things. You know, it's very, very Roman, which is kind of silly. So, but it turns out, like, the king of this planet. Um, I don't have my notes. Where did I put them? Hang on. I don't know. We're going anyway. I don't care. Um, the king of this planet is a bad guy. And so Hulk is like, oh, Hulk wants to smash. Um, this is the thing about how the Hulk talk. He doesn't really talk as sentence fragments like me and Bizarro does. So he is sort of, he's just sort of very casual. He's like, you know... Uh, get out of my way, you know, things like that. Yeah, I like the guy who plays him, but, um, he's not very, a uh, Hulk break thing, Hulk make toast, you know. And Hulk does smash, he smashes a lot of things. This movie is really violent. Like, things will get chopped up and they'll be, I mean, it's just blood. So, like, Hulk has bright green blood and other things have, like, sort of a dull green blood and humans, like, they're not humans, they're on some other planet. But they have red blood, and other things have other types of blood, and... Like, this movie's pretty average, I'd say. It's a decent tale, because, like... And it does sort of... It's sort of much more sort of dealt with, like, the sort of injustice that led Hulk to this thing. Where it's like, oh, we can't deal with you, Hulk, so we're gonna make you someone else's problem. And, like, that's just, like, the ultimate betrayal. Um, so they're like, oh, goodbye, Hulk. You know? So... I thought it was more was dealt with that, because apparently I heard in the comic books, this doesn't quite, it doesn't quite get to this point in the movie, but he eventually is like, you know, I'm going back, I'm going back to Earth, and I'm gonna, you know, 
I'm gonna Hulk smash back on Earth. Um, it smells kind of toasty. Let me see. That's about as far as I want to take a wheat bagel, I think. I'm not good at to- oh, that side I don't really- I'm not fond of it. And that edge is sort of dark there. I, I have trouble toast, uh, toasting wheat stuff to the right. I've done this. Um, so a lot of it is sort of like, they should, they have a lot of flashbacks. And actually, um, I, I, I tell a lie at the beginning of the episode, I was saying that it was just Hulk and the Iron Man. There's a little bit of Thor as well at one point, because these other guys, who so apparently, these guys are the unluckiest guys ever. Um, they came to Earth, like one of the characters, like his clan came to Earth to find a, uh, a, a, a one of the species to research on. So they picked one random human. The one random human they found was Thor. I'm like, you guys are the unluckiest bastards who have ever, like, did nothing. And then there's things like, well, it's really convenient that there's oxygen on this world, you know, because otherwise I don't know how Hulk would breathe, or maybe it would just make him matter. And there's moments where I'm, like, Hulk is never not in Hulk uh, in this thing, because getting put on a plane, that's gonna, that's gonna ruin your weekend, you know. Getting put on a spaceship and getting betrayed by your friends. It's like, yeah, um, Hulk mad. Hulk have, uh, issues now. Hulk, uh, Hulk D Facebook thing you. I'm being flippant, mostly because I really don't know what to say about it. It's, it's average. There's one really good scene where someone's trying to protect, uh, someone from these napalm guns. And they survive, but the person they're holding as they're walking away, trying to save them, crumbles into ash. And it's like, whoa, okay, that's, um, that's a pretty good image. So, I mean, if, if, if you went and saw the Avengers, uh, and you just can't get enough, go watch Planet Hulk and, and watch Cartoon Hulk Cartoon Smash things. And if you haven't seen uh, Avengers, well, I won't be able to say that maybe you should see the fucking awesome movie that it is, but I'm not able to tell you that. But I'm going to eat me this here toast. I bet there might have been like a Marvel Avenger movie on Netflix instance I could have done instead, but whatever, Planet Hulk, Planet Hulk Smash. That's it from me. This is King Cool. Drive home safe. Ha! Fools! I mean, hello! I am Dr. Eyeballtron, and something else is bugging me! Happy birthday! Let's start your day off right. Come in on your birthday for a free treat! What the? What? Who told Starbucks my birthday? I am not comfortable with this in any way! Oh, I'm gonna have to change birthdays! Guess I got to fire up the old time machine! We all know what happened last time! They said I couldn't build a time machine because they had already built a time machine and they had dibsies! Well, look at me now! I shall travel back into the past! Ah! ah there we are! And no unforeseen consequences! Mint! What have I done? I must return to the past! Ah, oh! Ah, try it! Take two! Ah. I'm so happy!